guys, welcome back to Amnesia the Dark Descent. And I think I think it's safe. No, it's not safe. It is not safe. That door is open. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. Oh, I don't know why, when I get creeped out, I just want to jump up here. It's beating so fast. Um, see anything but I feel so scared. ceiling and pushed down on the brim of his hat. He braced himself as the cavern suddenly shifted and settled. I wish my heart would settle. first time. Um, is there anything I can do with this rock? I feel like I should be able to throw it at something. Got a key. 
Please hurry up, I'm going crazy. The sunk slab looked like a safety measure. It wasn't meant to be moved ever again. I don't like it here, guys. I'm quite not just a little bit afraid. Okay. Is that a monster? Here's a rattling. Who cares? He left nothing up wine to last us a lifetime! Or at least until tomorrow! <laughs> oh, so he did lock them in the wine cellar. I really want to light a torch somewhere. Is there nowhere to light a torch? Is my sanity go doing? All is good. A slight headache. Okay, I'm not doing too badly. I have 11 tinder boxes. Okay, I think I'm doing good. take the lid out and without trying to
this barrel, please. Okay, that's where I came from. Slight headache. Okay, my sanity is okay. What was that? Yeah, I don't know what that was either. There. Okay, I, I'm getting turned around in this. Is this the door I went in? Is that the door I went in? Okay, now that I know what to say. Am I just doing this to amuse myself? my oil really quick. 
quickly. Oh, that doesn't. It doesn't go for very long. There's oil there. here again. sound mind do um, not know the legal terms in which I need to speak.
happening? Oh, feels like my chest is going to burst. Oh. My God, Wilhelm, do something! Except we're not getting out of here. How can you say that? Alexander, you piece of shit! Let us out of here! <laughs> something in that wine that made them explode. I'm scared to go in there. my oil but I don't know what else to do. I'm gonna open this just in case there's a monster that wants to eat my body. It's gonna have to get around that first. last words. My name is Wilhelm, House of Gurich. These are my final words, my confession and testament. Two years ago I was summoned to the castle of Pinenburg. As most of the aristocracy, I was curious about what is supposed to... what this supposed knight of the order could want from me and accepted the invitation. The baron was friendly and offered me a proposition. Why? <laughs> It dawned on me that the nature of the contract was sordid and that the reason I was chosen was because of the follies of my past and not the honors I've been rewarded with during my time as a soldier. I was to kidnap healthy humans upon his slightest whim and to do so without asking questions. In return, he would attest my character to the royal court, advancing my position within noble society. I would like to claim that I struggled with my decision but it came swiftly, and I accepted wholeheartedly. Ever since that day, I've brought men, women, and children to Brennenburg. I can't remember the numbers, but there were many, perhaps even a hundred, none of whom were ever seen or heard from again. Tonight, the Baron invited me and my men down to the wine cellar to celebrate our work. I had my suspicions as we descended the stairs, but he insisted and joined us in a toast. The wine tasted fine, and my, my men drank without restraint. So begins the punishment for our sins. The Baron has locked us up and returned upstairs. Forgive me for what I have done. I was weak, and I fell into the diabolic ways. My men are screaming. Their skin has been pierced by their own tangled bones. I feel my insides revolt against their God-given nature. Blood has begun to pour from my eyes, and I can no longer... Um, yeah, I, I'm thinking that that monster that I saw just a minute ago, also, well, I guess he just exploded into a pile of blood, but I was going to say, where, where is he? Okay, I don't hear anything after me. Crystal clear, yes. All right. Oh, I don't like the sounds in here.
became impossible to avoid. The combination, the commotion in the streets begged for his attentions. As he opened the shutters, the French soldiers opened fire on the two young, on the two young men fighting back. Their voices were silenced in the haze of gun smoke. <laughs> because will my health allow that? A few cuts and bruises, oh no. Also my oil's almost out. while gasping for air. So it poured from his forehead and onto the sand veiled by the wind. Okay. Well, I mean, I guess it's okay. Got some bruises and slight headache. Okay. Oh no, it's dark. Alright. So I need to put a, a light. How about here? Okay. What was that moment? Sort of organic tissue blocks a path to the refinery. Can it be dissolved? The stairs have collapsed. Find a way to climb back up. Okay. So I kind of was already on my way to do that. Go out. I 
After enduring three days in Algiers, a sailboat finally was arranged to take him across the Mediterranean Sea to Gibraltar. Having reached British territory, it was just a matter of reserving a cabin on the SS Horse Hortensia and heading back to London. Oh, it's going everywhere now. But don't I need back up there? Oops. Can I use the acid on this? Cannot use this, this way. Okay. How can I use it? Regenerate. No. Because I think I squandered all of my oil. Can I use it on this? Can I use this item this way? Okay. So I guess we have to go to the inner sanctum. Got some bruises, okay. And how's my mental health? Crystal clear. I think if I was seeing any of this, I would not be feeling crystal clear. But I am gonna take a second and I will be right back. Audrey, we are back. I have to take a little break. Um I went ahead and looked at a They broke it up into four different acts, so I'm going to break it up into four different acts as well. Um, it may take more than one video to get through an entire act, but I will be changing the thumbnails per act. And... The cloth smelled of desert and musk. Pieces lay scrambled on top. Many of them, he thought, or perhaps too few. dark in here. Yes, and there's a good reason for it. But you can light the lamp now if you wish. What's the reason? For the darkness, that is. Stay close. Be careful not to stray. What's the reason? Why is it so dark? Pay attention, Dandel. It's important that you keep going straight and make sure not to stray. Have none. No tender boxes. Uh, okay. Boxes are over here. Okay, I do have tinder boxes. All right. 
right. There was a monster in there, so I don't know if he could actually hurt me or if he was just one of the imaginary little poofies. But I don't trust it. Ooh, there's blood here. Can I drink some blood? Alright. Um uh, Okay, I just let's just be honest, I don't like what's going on here. Rope. Let me let me hang myself, please. Oh, this is terrifying. I feel safer sitting on top of this candle. Twenty second of June, eighteen thirty nine. It's been more than a month since my last entry. After the event inside the underground chamber in Algeria, Professor Herbert insisted I return to England. He said he didn't want to risk forfeiting the entire expedition lest I took a turn for the worse. An excessive decision, in retrospect. But I'm glad it turned out that way. I found my journal this morning in the haphazard collection of things brought home from Africa. Next to it lay the broken stone orb wrapped in cloth. I tried to assemble it, but couldn't. The pieces wouldn't fit together, as if they weren't from the same object. Could I have imagined it all? Was there ever a complete orb? Wait 
too heavy to lift my hand. Okay. I don't feel like I've ventured through this whole area though. What's that? that. There better not be anything behind this door that's gonna like come out and hurt me. June 1839. I feel the need to continue this journal, even though it was intended for my journey to Africa. This must be something very important. I just know it. I've taken it upon myself to piece the orb back together, but it's been more difficult than one might think. The pieces are behaving strangely. They seem to change color, shape, and texture, but ever so slightly. Yesterday, I took careful measurements and notated any significant markings. Today, I confirmed my suspicions. They were changing. I was terrified and rushed off to see the finest geologist in London, Sir William Smith. I approached the subject with care and we discussed how rocks change form. He told me about the nature of glass how it eventually collapses on itself, like ice slowly melting over the course of centuries. Smith eased my mind a bit, but I can't escape the feeling that these shards have otherworldly properties. The thing is, um, glass is the most rigid liquid. It's not a solid, it's liquid. If you have really old windows in your house, you'll know this because they will get thicker on the bottom and thinner at the top because gravity is slowly pulling them up. Oh, I thought it was going to be able to use this. Okay, woodworking. Let's go ahead and get the oil. I know I'm wandering around aimlessly. I just 
just want to see everything, make sure I'm not missing anything. Was this lit up this far before? the other way, isn't it? This is leaving. Yeah, this is... sounds because I'm going into the air and dry. Is there a box small enough for me to pick up? There we go.
Can you run across to that box and jump up there? Oh my gosh. quite badly. Okay, now where do I save it?
he's like just standing right in front of me with his arms open.
torches. Okay, um... Okay, my health is regaining. So I'm gonna stay here for two minutes. Back up to normal and I'm scared. I'm too scared to move forward. I mean, I'm guessing you don't like to read. The monster thing, the educated monster.
was time sensitive, I didn't think. That's how long it lasts. Alright, I just came back from taking a bath. And this is timer.
disconnect his distraction. Right? This time I'm going straight that way.
very hoos and that people meat. I can use people meat. Alright, there's gonna be a chase scene. 
There's gonna be a chase scene, it should go fine. It shouldn't be as scary as I think it is. I'm just easily scared. And guy guys don't make sounds like that. Um I'm just easily scared and it's gonna be it's gonna be fine. Everything is gonna be alright. Alright. Something large brushed against his leg, and he felt himself being dragged along by the current of the beast. He pushed himself above the surface. Help! He cried. The ocean swallowed him again.